Hello, hello, welcome to HimDev Development, where we are preparing the best tutorials to make your mobile application development easier and more efficient. The goal for this tutorial is following. We'll create a video player to play our tutorials. We'll use the Chuvi library, which wraps the video player in a design user-friendly optimized for Android as well as iOS. We'll show you how to play videos from the internet as well as directly from the application's asset. We'll also show a video playback from the phone storage using the file picker library to select files. We'll combine video playback with hero animation and page transition. First, we open our existing application from the previous tutorial and we open the portfolio underscore tutorials underscore sub underscore page dot dart file. This will be our entry file for this tutorial. We launch the application so that we can see the progress so far. In the previous tutorial, we went through a hero animation, which was used to display animation transition to the tutorial's detail page. A static image is currently displayed in the tutorial detail. And in this tutorial, we'll display a video player with a video of the given tutorial instead of just an image. We have a list of tutorials defined here using the tapo 2 class, where the first item represents the URL address to the tutorial image and the second represents the title or description of the tutorial. We change the tapo 2 class to tapo 3 class and we add the URL address to the video tutorial as a third item. We'll do this for all items in the list. We'll also change the tuple2 class to tuple3 in the underscore build list item method. And we add a new parameter video URL to the underscore build reply flag navigation method. Also to the underscore create tutorial detail route method. Now we go for the navigation to the portfolio tutorial detail page class and we change the image URL parameter to video URL. Also in the class itself. Then we change the stateless widget to stateful widget. This is so that we can release the video player in the dispose method when removing the widget. Then we modify the call to the widget class parameters. As we already know, calling parameters from the state class requires using the getter method widget. Let's now talk a little bit about iOS settings. Our goal is to play video tutorials stored on a server. For this reason, we must have a permission to read network data. When we create a project using the flutter create command, the permissions are automatically created for Android. However, for iOS, they need to be defined separately. But since we have already shown in the first part of this series of tutorials how to implement this setting, now we can only show where the code is located and how it looks. We go to the iOS folder, Runner, and we open the info.playlist file. We go to the section where the NSApp transport security key is defined and we set the NS allows arbitrary loads value to true. It is also worth mention that iOS simulator does not allow playing videos using Flutter. Now we go to the PubSpec YAML file and we define two libraries here, Chuvi and Video Player. The Video Player plugin, which is natively supported in the Flutter, provides access to low-level video playback functionality. For iOS, Video Player plugin uses AV Player to play videos, and for Android it uses Exo Player. Using the Video Player plugin, it is possible to play videos stored on the network, in the application, as well as directly in the phone storage. The Video Player plugin, of course, contains functionality with which we can create our own UI design of buttons for playing and managing videos, which we can specify separately for Android and iOS. This means material design as well as Cupertino design. 
However, the Chuvi library wraps the video player plugin into a user-friendly interface automatically for both Material and Cupertino designs. Therefore, we'll use the given library in our project. In the portfolio underscore tutorial underscore detail underscore page dot dart file, we define the Chuvi controller for the underscore portfolio tutorial detail page state class so that we can control video playback. Then we create an init state method where we initialize the Chuvi controller. Chuvi controller has several attributes, the most important of which is video player controller. We set the video player controller object obtained using the video player controller .network constructor, which has the URL address to the video as a parameter in the Chuvi controller attribute of the video player controller. Video player controller has three main constructors. The first is the already mentioned network constructor, which is used to play video from the internet. The second is an asset constructor that is used to play video from the application's asset folder. And the third is a file constructor that is used to play video directly from the phone storage. We'll go through all these three ways to load the video. Another attribute of Chuvi controller is aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is the ratio of the width to the height of the video. In our case, we set the value to 16 to 9. Auto initialize attribute initializes a video at startup. This prepares the video for playback, which means the first frame of the video is loaded and displayed automatically. Autoplay attribute allows us to automatically play the video as it is displayed. Looping attribute allows us to repeat the playback of the video over and over again. The last attribute we define here will be an error builder. This attribute allows the user to display a custom error message when a video playback error occurs. We'll currently display this message in the center of the video player. We'll use the text widget to set the white font. We add the padding and then we wrap it with a central widget. Chuvi controller has many other attributes. We'll now modify the underscore build hero widget content method and instead of the cache network image, we'll return the Chuvi widget to which we'll set the required attribute controller. As mentioned at the beginning, when disposing a parent video widget, it is necessary to release all user resources, that is video player controller as well as Chuvi controller. We can do so in the dispose method of the stateful widget. Now we can test the application. Video playback is working properly. However, as you can see in hero animation, the video frame is displayed as a flying object during animation instead of the image towards the tutorial detail. But from the detail to the tutorial list, the image is displayed. In order to be able to see the video image and not the video itself during the flight of the hero widget, we'll edit the hero underscore widget to that file. If you wish to know more about hero animation, you can check out our previous tutorial. In the build method for hero, we modify the flight shuttle builder attribute. If the hero flies from the first page to the detail page, we'll display the widget obtained using the from context parameter. In our case, it will be an image of the tutorial. Otherwise, when hero flies from the detail page back to the first page, we'll use a widget obtained using the to context parameter to display the image from the first screen again instead of the video. And then we set this flying widget to the child attribute for the rotation transition. We can test it. Hero animation now works as we want it. We go back to the portfolio underscore tutorial underscore detail underscore page dot dart file specifically to the init method. In case we don't want to load video from the internet, 
we can load the video directly from the application storage using video player controller .asset constructor. We set the path to the asset file. We'll create the new videos folder in the assets folder where we'll insert a particular video. In our case, we'll insert the video file himdevintro.mp4 here. And in the pubspec.yaml file, we set the path to the file assets videos himdevintro.mp4. We'll now test the application to see if the video player plays our intro video from the asset folder. Great, it works correctly. We'll now go through the process of loading video from the phone storage. When creating a Chuvi controller in the portfolio underscore tutorial underscore detail underscore page dot dart file, we insert the video player controller dot file constructor with the video file parameter into the video player controller attribute. The video file parameter is obtained using the constructor of the file class with the path to the desired file. In order to be able to define and use an external file, we need certain permissions for the application. However, in this tutorial, we'll use the file picker library, which will allow the user to select the file from the phone storage and at the same time to require the necessary permissions. We go to the pubspec.yaml file and define the file picker library there. Then in the portfolio underscore tutorials underscore sub underscore page dot dart file in the underscore build reply effect navigation method, we modify the on tap attribute of the inkwell widget. We call the file picker constructor filepicker.getFile for which we set the type attribute on the video, so the user will only be able to select the video file. Again, we'll use the async event mechanism similar to the previous tutorials in this series. And we get the path to the selected file by calling videofile.path. This path is set in the video URL attribute which is used to create and then display the detail of the portfolio tutorial detail page screen. We can test it. We can see that on Android the necessary permissions were automatically requested. We'll just approve them. Then we select the desired video file from the phone storage and we can see that the video will start playing as we want it. We'll return the program to the state where we load video from the internet. We run the application and we can test the final functionality. And we come to the end of our 12th part of this first series of Flutter tutorials and of course you can find the complete source code on the GitHub as well as on our website himdeve.com where you have a detailed description of everything we went through in this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you, bye bye.